I really enjoy building and flying quadcopters. They are perfect for making nice videos, even though mine are not so good yet. Other than making nice videos, building my own drones is really exciting, because I can learn a few things along the way. In this video, I will try to design a simple frame for a 5 inch quad, 3D print it and test how it performs. Let's get started. This is the finished design, which turned out really well. The first thing I did was to position the motors. Therefore, I put a big circle around the motor position to make sure that the props can rotate freely. In the design, I just put a circle with a diameter of 125 millimeters and mirrored it to all four sides. For now, I left the distance of 150mm to the center, which I adjusted later. Four screws are used to fix the motors, like you see here. In the design, I used a slightly larger diameter as normalized to make it easier to mount the motor from the 3D printed frame. For fixing the motors, one circle is needed where it's mounted on. I used 24 millimeters. Then in addition, four holes are needed where the screws can pass through. First, I created one circle with a distance of eight millimeters to the center and then use the circular pattern to create the other three. As before, the created parts have to be mirrored to all sides. Going on to the next part. In the center, there's the flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC. The importance is to have the right hole distance in the design. Those distances are normally the, normally the same for the flight controller and the ESCs. In the design, this is pretty straightforward. First, one circle is created and then the others are added with a rectangular pattern. There needs to be a distance of 30.5 millimeters to both sides to fix the ESC and the flag controller. One very essential part of an FPV drone is of course the camera. In this case I used a very simple technique to mount the camera. I used two plates which connect the bottom part of the frame and the top part of the frame and the camera is mounted on two screws where the bottom screw can be used to adjust the angle of the camera. Therefore, only two slots have to be inserted on the top part of the frame and on the bottom part to fix the camera. Just one rectangle is needed and that rectangle has to be copied in the right distance to fix the camera. The bottom and top side of the frame are connected with standoffs. Therefore, four holes are needed in the bottom to connect, and as well in the top later, to connect the bottom and top frame. One circle in one corner, and then mirror to all the other sides is how I did this part. In addition to those slots for the camera, Cutouts are created to fix other parts like the video transmitter here or the crossfire receiver 
on this side here. Other than that, the GPS is fixed here, the crossfire antenna here. For finishing up the design, the arms have to be connected to the middle part, mirrored, and then everything can be extruded and we have a body to print. This completes the simple bottom frame design. On the top, there's not too much to it. Only the holes on the edge have to be created to connect the top part to the spaces and the bottom part. In addition, the holes for mounting the camera have to be somewhere here. And in addition, I just put some additional cutouts in the middle and a small hole in the end to connect the video transmitter. Here as well, you see that I put another 3D print for connecting a camera on the top for making nice videos. After 3D printing, assembling and setting up the drone, I finally went to go out flying and test the performance. Unfortunately, nothing works at the first try. While testing how it operates, I released some issues with oscillations. They were quite noticeable while flying and the arms were bent what I saw afterwards. I actually tweaked the controller a bit to avoid those oscillations, even though that's not the right approach. It worked better for some time but sometimes the oscillations were still noticeable, even though they were more subtle. In the end, I went back and changed some things in the design to finally ensure flying the squad without oscillations. After flying the drone a bit, I noticed some problems with oscillations, which seems to be due to the frame. It seems to be not strong enough, and that's why the arms are twisted and bent. It's not obviously here in this one. So I touched the design again and changed it. And that is the new design. And only two things are changed, which is the arms have a wider width and it's two, cent uh, two millimeters higher. So this should give it more strength and hopefully the oscillations are gone. Now I will start putting all the parts again on this bottom frame and let's see how it performs afterwards. Now, the quad performs really good for me. For quads, it's really important to have strong frames. As a side note, I use 60% infill in the last 3D print for higher strength compared to using 40% before. This avoids oscillations and makes them survive better if you crash. Like this, I really enjoy flying this drone, for one part because the frame was designed and printed by me. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.